Welcome back, Hookaholics. Another episode of Foul Mouth Fishing. Big things. Big things. Small packages. Um, just a little quick video. Uh, just a few minutes just to share a little something. Um, Y'all know I, or should know, I love fishing in all aspects. Everything from panfish, like little crappie and bluegill and, and you know, sunfish, right up to big tiger musky, if I can get on them. Um, and everything in between. So, uh, I found these the other day and I figured, why the heck not? There's two here, so one of them's for you. So as a preamble to this little quick uh, video of something I got in the mail, and uh, there's a little hint right there, that big, tall, beautiful, burgundy satchel. Um, I got two of these little Bill Lewis rattle traps, half ounce, uh, and these are in one of my favorite colors. Um, they got the Mustad triple grip hooks, and these are in the blue back herring. I love this color scheme, and so one of these is definitely going into our Christmas in July giveaway. Again, speaking of uh, musky hunting, one of my handmade musky lures that I love to use. I, I got this off an old YouTube video of a guy out, Canadian gentleman, uh, went to Canadian Tire, got himself a fidget spinner and decided to build his own little musty, musky rig. Uh, he used his own hair. I don't have that much hair, so <laughs> I went and got some artificial hair uh, and a few strands of some, um, some durable plastic and I made this little hair lure uh, for, for catching some nice size musky and as I reveal here a lot of my larger larger lures um, in the two and a half three ounce uh, two ounce this is this is a uh, my little uh, rainbow trout lure been munched severely over the over the years um, you know, some little one ounce lures, everything from one to five ounces and in between uh, in my soft plastics. I have some hard baits. Um, obviously, I got those those prop dusters uh, that I got. You saw me reveal one in a recent video from my chase baits. And then I've got some uh, some more, you know, some little spinners, double spinner. Heavier, heavier gauged ones. This one lost his eye in the struggle. He's got one, one eye willy, I call this guy. <laughs> and of course, my larger whopper ploppers when I'm going for, you know, a large musky or just, you know, large uh, anything, really. With that, I had previously been throwing those heavier lures. On this guy right here so I have my Abu Garcia Revo Beast uh, bait casting reel uh, 30 pounds of uh, bulldog drag uh, excellent for horsing in larger fish it's got the larger oversized grips which I love um, 5 8 to 1 ratio really a great great reel the rod however as if you kind of can tell there's no pistol grip back here uh, and that's quite obvious. This is a Pen Fierce. Um, it's a Fierce 2 carbon, or no, excuse me, graphite reel, uh, graphite rod. And the thing about it is it is a spinning tackle car, uh, pen uh, rod. Um, I love it because of the long shaft on it. It gives me that extra length for whipping out baits, you know, longer cast distance because I can really heave them out there. The action on it is really, really nice. It is set for 12 to 20 pound line. I have 20 pound braid on here. Actually, 12 to 25 pound li uh, line is rated for the rod. I have 20 pound braid on here. And it runs a three quarter to a two ounce lure. 
Now, as you see, I have some lures in here that are three and a half, four ounces, four and a quarter ounces. Um, really, that's pushing this to the limit. And if you know about rods, the thing you have to know about a rod is the way the rod is constructed in the blank, be it a bait casting rod or a spinning reel rod. So a bait casting rod, you'd have your eyelets facing up because your reel is on the top of the, of the rod. Uh, the backbone of the rod is designed when it's spun. Realistically, you're going to have weakness down here below the eyes and flexibility and strength on the top so that as it's flexing this way, the backbone is supporting and it's not going to try to crack the top half where the eyelets are, especially the way that they're spun and connected. They want more strength on the top so it doesn't pop out and blow out your, your, uh, your guides. With the opposite, where this rod was designed, specifically this pen rod, this is for a spinning reel. So you have flexibility on this side and your, your more strength and rigidity is on the bottom. So it's really designed to flex this way without, without problem, as opposed to this way, which you could basically crack it. Now, I've gotten away with using this rod for a long period of time because when I do my hook sets, I'm not setting the hook up like I would bass fishing. I sweep side to side. So I'm really sweeping and reeling in to get my fish when I'm using this rod. That all said, as much care and love and affection as I've given to this over the years, I still have always been hesitant, um, especially when I'm catching a large, large fish, um, and I felt the fear of it breaking and blowing out. With that said, I broke down and said, you know, I've got the right reel. I don't really have the right rod. It served its purpose. It's done me well, but it was Frankenstein and Rube Goldberg and not adequate. So... I got something specific. A little bit shorter. It's a seven foot even rod as opposed to this pen, which I think is an eight and a half. I know it's over eight. What do we got? Uh, oh, eight, eight foot even. So this was an eight foot rod. Um, I've dropped a foot, but I've gained both the integrity of having a proper and true bait casting rod uh, as well as one that is kind of unique. So Y'all know I spent uh, $500 on my 1-3 Fishing's Carbon Fuse Rod. Uh, well, I've spent an equal amount on a name brand that I do have a whole lot of trust. So, I don't get a whole lot of stuff from um, the Hookup Tackle, but uh, because I do believe they're a little bit overpriced, you know. But, I went to them because they are a dedicated dealer for Mega Bass. So, I got the Mega Bass Tequila Baccarat. I've been looking for this rod, I've seen it around, I've researched it, and I've wanted it for quite some time, and when I have gone to get it, it's always been sold out, sold out, sold out, or on back order. So I broke down, and when it came up, I jumped right on it. So, the thing about the Tequila Baccarat, it is specifically designed for what is easily considered the former, I will say former because it's been overfished quite a bit in the last, uh, you know, four or five years, but the big bass uh, fishery of the world. Um, Baccarat in Mexico. And the thing about this Pacific uh, rod is it'll handle lures, not just three quarters, which that one will, uh, not just one ounce, which my pen would, not two ounces like my pen would, but uh, pistol grip designed for bait casters the back rock was specifically designed as a really amazing um, form of, of graphite and carbon that it'll hold lures from three quarters of an ounce to four ounces. It'll run line from 12 pound, not to just 25 pound test, but to 30 pound test. So this reel is going to be my new dedicated reel, or excuse me, this rod is going to be my new dedicated rod for that uh, beast reel. And uh, this is going to be my new, uh, my new big monster fish uh, bait caster rod. So 
$500, I'm hoping it was well spent. It's something that I've taken a lot of care and, and time uh, paying attention to this rod. Uh, if you are a fisherman who fishes for a very large game, and you also want to be able to toss, you know, a half ounce crankbait, the amazing part of the design of this is that tip. That tip is very flexible, very sensitive, um, but it quickly goes into that that backbone of the rod very rapidly over the length of it. Uh, so you do get a fairly, very sensitive rod, but the strength and durability of a pool cue uh, for horsing in big fish and throwing heavy, heavy lures. So you can load this up with a three and a half ounce lure and really whip it out there uh, without worrying about it snapping the rod. Uh, at the same time, you can go out there with, you know, a deep diver and be able to punish the fish down deep. Uh, you've got, I mean, anybody who's thrown deep divers 25, 30 foot down uh, in deep water in the ocean or whatever, um, you know you're fighting a lot of current and drag and just the depth of the line, the weight of the line that far down trolling or that far down uh, running a crankbait, you're fighting that. And so this is also, to me, um, a great benefit. So this destroyer uh, from Mega Bass, uh, the P5 Tequila Baccarat, um, it's uh, graphite over my fiberglass and graphite kind of combo thing that was the pen. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to swapping this out. I'm obviously, I will re-spool this with 25 pound test over the 20 pound um, braid that I have on there. Keep my wire leads, because uh, I always use a steel cable lead because I'm hunting toothy gritters. But uh, I just thought I'd throw this little quick video, you know, eight or ten minutes or so, just to reveal. Um, and hopefully I'll get some, some video of me out there uh, bringing in maybe a muskie or two on this guy. And maybe some other big fish. Maybe I'll find a nice, uh, you know, six or seven, eight pounder and, uh, you know, just happen to have this rod uh, be the one that I have in me rather than some of my other bait casters. I hope this was entertaining. I will leave, um, I don't know if they're even going to have any more left, but I will leave the link down in the description for where I got this. They have a whole series of these P5 Mega Bass rods uh, specifically designed for techniques, not just big game like the Tequila Baccarat, but you have sp specific rods that are really acclimated for uh, Alabama rigs, although this is excellent for it. Um, crankbaits, spinner baits. Uh, you know, your typical uh, finesse, they have a very light, very, very sensitive, fast tip uh, for your finessing for like drop shots, etc. Um, so if you're in the mood and you have the funds, um, I think Mega Bass does make some of the best rods, certainly some of the best baits uh, on the market. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to sit here and, and, you know, glad, you know, to, to, to promote them big time because they are pricey. But, you know, it is JDM at its finest, and uh, I'm a big supporter of JDM products. Uh, with that going, uh, with that said, uh, we'll get on to our next video shortly. I hope this was entertaining, as always, for me to you. Tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, alcoholics.